Something I'd been wanting to do in LA was to get to ask Nathan about his own art practice. We took a drive to San Pedro, where Nathan has a studio overlooking the ocean, and he told me about his artistic journey. I started with real traditional paintings, um, where there was a singular image that was occurring in a canvas. Um, so these two people walking down the hallway, these birds flying through, and it has, a, it has an experience within it that's slightly psychological and slightly off. Um, but I kept finding them too restrictive, being in a single, singular form. So I went on this journey trying to um, come up with different ways to make images. Uh, so I started collaging different pieces together and different ideas together. Um, started invading my, my images with construction workers. Uh, uh, so there's little like dump trucks that go through. Um, there would be ladder men that would jump into these structures. And, the dump trucks would invade spaces that are um, more familiar and more um, representational, this being my sister and my girlfriend in the kitchen. Yeah. Um, and so it's colliding like actual experiences with weird psychological ways of invading them. So I um, started a series of kind of larger scale works that could exist together and build a conversation, but they didn't necessarily have to have like one dump truck goes into another painting. Yeah. Um, so I did this series is a big um, kind of tree paintings with these little black bears that are climbing to the tops of these trees. And then I started launching beer off of objects and launching actual objects like rocking chairs and building trampolines. Um, I started becoming interested in like conceptual frameworks for plumb lines, for levels. This piece has got a, like a construction level that's embedded in the wood. And the only way for this level to be level is for the rest of the board to be crooked. It plays kind of a fun psychological game. A little boat um, with a massive amount of sails coming out of it. It's entitled Over Prepared and Under Trained. Um, <laughs> kind of how I feel a lot as an artist and as a person um, trying to negotiate life paths. Some sculpture is called. submerged um, experiences in our life that, that can come through the surface at any moment. Mm -hmm. So I've done drawings over and over again, Moby Dick, coming to the surface and hitting the bottom of boats and cantilevering things. And I love it. Yeah. Yeah. It allows me to try out things um, that say the same thing but in different medium. Mm -hmm. So when one looks at an illusionistic painting, one feels something differently than they would look at a sculpture. Mm -hmm. And I can talk about crookedness in a drawing and crookedness in the physicality of a, of a painting or of a sculpture as well. Mm. So for me, it accesses an extra charge in my brain and it lets me like, whoa, yeah, get excited about this. Oh, get excited about this. 